This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Whitset. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A family made it out of their home safely after an early morning garage fire in Florence. Firefighters were called out to this home on Cedar Hill Lane just before four this morning. Neighbors told us that everyone inside got out safely and several pets were rescued. Investigators are still trying to determine a cause of the fire. Today, two Westchester firefighters are leaving for Florida alongside members of the Butler County Incident Management Team. Just a few of the handful of teams from the Tri-State ready to help out. Volunteers with the local Red Cross chapter and Ohio Task Force One are both already there or in Florida to help out. We're also hearing from two people in Florida with connections to the Tri-State. Nick Snook is a Westchester native who lives now near Tampa. He's not directly in the path. He's staying in place, doesn't have any reason to evacuate. We also spoke with Bill Kirk, co-owner of the Cincinnati Chili Company in Clearwater, who says he's ready to provide Floridians with Cincinnati hospitality in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Jen. Well, today we're starting off chilly with plenty of sunshine. Your temperature, though, today, again, with that northwest wind, it is cooling us down and shuffling in this kind of Canadian air on us. So our high today only makes it to 65 degrees. Compared to yesterday's high of 68, yeah, it's a difference here in the Tri-State, but it's mostly sunny, and that northwest wind is with us again today. So it'll pick up most there in the afternoon hours around noon through about 6 p.m. You'll have that 10 to 15 mile per hour wind. And while there is no wind chill at that moment, if you're sitting in the shade and that wind comes by, yeah, you're allowed to say it's a little on the cool side. My friend and I experienced it yesterday at the park and it was like, oh, okay, let's find some sunshine. But tonight, heads up, we are once again looking at even colder air. We're down into the low 40s and upper 30s here in the Tri-State, and that's without the wind even being factored in. So just keep in mind, we've got some cool nights still to come, but more seasonal air will be in for next week.